Okay, the next part we're going to be making is this edge protector. It's part 2, 10-6-54. So um, there, it's this little uh, kind of like a saddle looking thing that would go over some kind of edge or something like that. Um, but the important things here is that this outside radius is 1.5 and the inside radius is 1.25. There is a flat right here that is goes 1 inch, so it's straight. 1 inch is down to there. And then um, there's a radius on here that's going to go another 1.62 down. So when we look at the end, these will come straight down. You wouldn't see these if we were looking straight in from this direction here. Um, when we do this, then there's a, this radius is going to be the same radius on the back here. So there's going to be two radiuses of 1.62. And... Um, and then it, the distance between the center points is 3.25. That's going to work out to be 6.49. If they hadn't rounded this, uh, this would be 1.625, which is a standard number. Um, so it would be 6.5. So if you make it 6.5, it's okay. So we'll go to AutoCAD here. We're going to go ahead and click on New. Start a new drawing. I'm going to click on this. Go to Front. Uh, switch this to Top there. Switch here this way. And I'm going to do a Center Radius. Um, right there of 1.5 use the same center point um, and do 1.25 uh, back up there a little bit I'm gonna click on line go shift right click and I'm gonna go from this quadrant point here F8 turn F8 on and go down um, that was uh, 2.62 down that way um, we could do the same thing over and over and over again I'm just gonna go ahead and click copy use that endpoint and then shift right click quadrant to there, shift right click to this quadrant right here, shift right click to this quadrant right here. All right, and then I'll do a line that goes from this endpoint to this endpoint, do a line that goes from this endpoint to this endpoint. I'm going to go ahead and click trim, right click on, go ahead and start clicking pieces out there that I don't need. Okay, uh, when we click home, we'll see the side of it, what the side or the end view of it would be, and I'm going to do press pull and press pull that back that way which was 6.5 or 6.49 um, so that's the whole piece there um, quickly just to make this easy on me I'm gonna go ahead and erase that little piece there that we drew on the end now what we're gonna do next is this 1.62 is a radius we're just gonna use the fillet command uh, here when we do this well 1.62 will select this little line right here um, that's my quarter and I'm going to enter or corner enter the radius there of 1.62 and then it asks for us to select an edge so I'm going to select these edges right here those little itty bitty lines right there right click and enter and it's going to fill those in there really nicely so that's exactly what we want go ahead and click save and we're this going to be part 210-6-54 and that is an edge protector all right, and oops, I got an extra zero there. Oh, well, that's not where the zero is. Edge protector, so that's that one. Go ahead and click print. DWG to PDF, extents, center of the plot, and this is going to look exactly how I want it to be. All right, then right click, click plot, and then you're going to submit the PDF file that you've created. Or you would submit that, that PDF file that you've created right there to Blackboard or whatever else you're submitting it to.